you were given 721 divided by x equals 37 with a remainder of 18. Our goal here is to find the value of x, which is the divisor of the quotient. To better understand how to approach this, let's first look at a quotient without a remainder. Looking at the notes below, a divided by b equals c, if and only if c times b equals a. An example of this would be 15 divided by 3 equals 5, because 5 times 3 equals 15. Notice how this also tells us that 15 divided by 5 equals 3, since 3 times 5 equals 15. Now let's look at a quotient with the remainder. a divided by b equals c with the remainder of d, if and only if c times b plus d the remainder equals a. So looking at our quotient, we have 721 divided by x equals 37 with the remainder of 18 which tells us that 37 times the divisor x plus the remainder 18 must equal 721. Now using the commutative property multiplication, if 37 times x plus 18 equals 721, then x times 37 plus 18 would also equal 721. Now if we write the quotient from this, notice how we would have 721 divided by 37 equals x with the remainder of 18. So let's find the value of x, which is the original divisor, by finding this quotient here. So we'd have 721 divided by 37. Well, there's 137 and 72. 1 times 37 is 37. Subtracting here, the difference is 35. Bring down the 1. Now we want to know how many 37s there are in 351. That would be 9. 9 times 7 is 63. Bring the 6 over to the 10s place value. 9 times 3 is 27 plus 6, that's 33. We find this difference to find our remainder. And notice how this difference is 18. So 721 divided by 37 is equal to 19 with the remainder of 18. So because 721 divided by 37 is equal to 19 with the remainder of 18, notice how this tells us x equals 19. More specifically, 19 times 37 plus 18 equals 721, and therefore it's also true that 37 times 19 plus 18 equals 721. So again, the value of x is equal to 19. And now we know the divisor of the original quotient. Again, x equals 19. I hope you found this helpful.